How's it going everyone? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and I'm very excited today to be playing this game called Fate. This game was released a little while ago and has since kind of skyrocketed in popularity for good reason. The number one interesting thing to me about this game is that it utilizes graphics that are very, very old school. Got like an 8-bit style to it, but apparently this game is actually, story-wise, genuinely terrifying. So just keep in mind that the graphics are gonna be very basic. They're not 3D graphics. It's not anything super realistic at all. But this game is really supposed to focus on being creepy through the story, as I said. I'm gonna begin, I'm ready. What is this? New game, here we go, okay. And here we are. And I can control myself, which is nice, I think. I think I'm a priest. Oh, just walking down the street. Okay. I'm digging the music. Here we go. Let's go up. I don't know what's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I have a cross. I'm singing. Let's continue going up this way. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna climb up to the well, and then I'm gonna do the well, and then I'm gonna bless the well, and there's a thing that I just blessed, and it's gone. You are invited. Uh, I don't want to be invited anywhere where that is. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday party, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Space, oh. Oh my god, no! What was that? What was that? Okay, well, I'm getting away from that. From whatever that was. God, that was pretty creepy, man. That was pretty spooky. Uh, is this where I'm supposed to go? This does not seem right. It's locked. Oh, okay. Can't get any more straightforward than that, can it? Is there a back entrance? No. Okay. Well, came all this way for no reason. Can I blast the door open? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let me go to the left. Oh. Ah! My God. All right, we're gonna bless these spirits. Hello, Mr. Martin. It has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Well, would you look at that? I live in Connecticut. That's so pleasant for me that this type of stuff is going on here. That's exactly what you want to see. All right, here's another cross. Mine is better, though. Mine is made of gold. What is yours made of? Wood? Psh, wood? Ha! Oh, a deer. Dear, do you need to be blessed? Bless you, dear. Well, this is actually a pretty open-world game. Surprisingly enough. I'm really hoping that weird spider demon doesn't come after me again. Can appear at any moment, I think. Uh, what is this? Oh, there was a ghost here, too. What's this about? Public Leechur by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Okay. Uh. Oh, another deer. Come over here so I can bless you, deer. Ah. Uh, running away. Like a little pansy deer. A little scaredy deer. Oh, yeah? Ha! Nice. I'm the master of exercising demons on the fly. Damn, how many deer are there? I gotta be careful, too. If this is Connecticut, then I could catch Lyme disease. Was I? Yeah! Nice try. 
Okay, so I think it's just repeating. Because I was already there. And that makes zero sense. Hello? The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly, mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred, Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred, Alred, I'm going to say Alfred, explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but if the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Huh. That's not good. Oh, well, here I am. I saw you, Mr. Demon. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was spooky as heck. So what happens if I go up here? I feel like this is just so open world. Way more open world than I was expecting. Oh! Coming a little faster that time, I see. Wonder what happens if I get caught. I hope I don't lose and have to start everything all over again. That'd be a little frustrating. Oh, there's some water. Can I bless the water? Is it holy water? There we go. Now it's holy water. Haha. Uh -huh. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Uh-oh. Hoping somebody didn't get shot and killed. That wouldn't be... Did you say, oh my god, it's a deer. Okay, so there, it, it does seem to be open world, but it does repeat as well. I'm not sure how often it repeats. I don't know what this is. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started the next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to, to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Well, I think, I think you got a lot to talk to your kids about when it comes to playing around with dead animals. Especially deer. Dead deer. In Connecticut. Where deer ticks- Oh! And I died. Thank God it saved, though. That's actually very nice. I forgot I saw the save icon down at the bottom, and I feel a lot better now. Um, I saw something purple in the window there. Okay, I don't know about this. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there and restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look you, uh, a child gives you. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and bless everything in this house. Because I feel like it needs to be blessed. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> oh. Aw. Poor Amy. Bless that clock. All right, let's go into the other room where I saw the purple thing. The weird purple thing. Uh. I hope that's just my shadow behind me. And not anything else. It kind of looks like something is latched onto me. Bless the wardrobe. Bless the lamp. Bless that bed. All right, let's go up. Bless this chair, bless this table, 
bless the television and the lamp is the only thing I haven't blessed. So let me bless this lamp. There you go. I really don't think there's any point to me doing any of that, but I did it anyway. Oh. Oh! Well, that's, that's pleasant. That's what you want to see. What does this lead to? Oh, this is a basement. You know what? I saw another staircase. I'm going to go take care of that first. So I feel like going upstairs might be a little bit of a better option right now instead of going down into the basement where I saw some blood spatter on the left-hand side. What is that? Oh, it's like an exercise bike. Can I bless the exercise bike? Can't bless that door. Okay, I can bless that. I don't know what that is. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Something tells me I still should be a little bit more nervous than I am as a priest in a house where clearly an exorcism took place. Am I the one who did the exorcism? Maybe that's why I'm not freaking out. All right, there's a note already over there. Let's go ahead and bless this, whatever that is. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he's sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Oh my god! Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh. So, some, so I guess phones are a thing now? I guess when... I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of decap deception. I almost said decapitation. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Nah. All right, so there's an attic involved, obviously. I didn't happen to see that, though. Oh, look at this. How many of these can I bless? Yeah, I guess I can't bless any of them. Oh, well, no matter. All right, let's go back up here then. Um, where's this attic that you were referring to? Uh, let's go back downstairs and into the basement, I guess. Coming over here and I'm doing stuff and then I'm going to the basement and I'm doing other stuff. Here it goes, here I go, here I go down and then I move over to this thing, whatever this is. What the hell is that? Can't even tell. Oh, mannequin. Seems like a place I should be allowed to go. Oh. Bless the crib. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice quim quimbamba. Kimbamba. Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San, San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Okay. Hey. 
This is the same doll that was upstairs, right? To the left. Oh my god. Why would you have all these mannequins just chilling down here? Can I bless any of yous? I don't think so. All right. Oh, okay. No wonder there was a blood spatter over there. All right, what do you say? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, time to go here and bless this. Oh. oh, the animation for that is sick. He is here. Okay. She's here. What does that mean for me? And why am I back upstairs? Do I have to complete the right? Is that what's going on here? Uh-oh. 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 It's following me. Whatever it is, oh my god, okay. Oh, she got me, and she exploded my body. All right, let's try this again. Oh my god. Yep, she's here. All right, so what do I do about that? How do I get away from that? Maybe I have to go a specific way? So she doesn't catch me? There she is. Please don't catch me. Here I go. All right, I'm going down, I'm going down, down, going down. Oh! I guess I can't leave? Marcus. Yeah, maybe I should just try going back to the basement. Amy, please stop. Please don't do anything rash. I'm just trying to get out of here. I was trying to head for the exit, but you're kind of stopping me from doing that, preventing me. Oh god, back to the basement, I guess. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, she's coming for me. She's coming for me. Go back to the basement. Go back down here. I'm really hoping I I just need to complete the ritual. Sony nami nesti ni bara da ba ka da 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 ma da ka la ba ka da ba ka da da ka. Ha ha ha! She is here. She is here. Okay. I don't know what to do, man. Maybe I just need to find the correct one. Is what did I do the right thing? Ha! You thought you were clever, didn't you? I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to prevent this from happening. There you are. Okay, I'm starting to understand now. So I think I can essentially attack her with the the crucifix. I I almost got stopped up. All right, let's go. And maybe Haya. 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 There I go. Time to get out of here. I'm leaving this freaking place. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna try going this way a little bit again. Oh, oh. Oh! Okay. He almost got me. That would have been real annoying. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What's this? Okay. This dead tree, it looks like, this looks important. Yeah, here we go. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. 
I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at Book Club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. I wonder why. It's not like... It's not, I don't, what, does, what does that have to do with Amy? Alright, well, time to stay on the road. What happens if I go down? Is that possible? Nope, okay. Alright, this is where I started. Um, I can't help but think that I haven't... Wait, can I get in the car and go away? Is that possible? Nope, okay. Nope, okay. So, I must have not done something at that house. There must be something else that I can do. Oh! Oh, it left a note. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. What the hell, bro? So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Definitely still here. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. That's a bit different. Well, I wasted a bit of time going back to my car thinking that I might have just had to leave, but... Oh, the attic. Oh, this is the attic. Oh, Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She... What? She, my superior father... With, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own something. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. Oh, oh. So I'm assuming then that she killed her parents. Oh, God. Uh, that's not creepy at all. She must have killed her own parents. There she is. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is creepy? Ho <laughs> ho! I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Is this hurting you? Hiya! Hiya! Uh, oh, oh, what, what, oh, 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 ah! Ha! Ha! Ha, 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 ha! Ha! Oh! Oh, okay, at least it saves from here. This is cool, this is like a little boss battle now. Very different from anything I've experienced. Yeah! 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 What? Oh, you fool. Let's try it again. I really like the animation of this, too. Very smooth. Yeah! Oi! Oi! Ah! What am I supposed to do? Okay, I think maybe I need to find... Find her quicker? And expose the cross to her longer crap oh this is I know I'm so confused I don't know what's going on here okay so I just looked up a walkthrough and it looks like I just have to avoid her when she tries to lunge at me so I gotta do this and then do this find where she is and then if she comes from the other side walk away and then do the same and just keep repeating until she's dead That is very tough. And if you're not accurate... Ah! 
right. Boom. Oh! That was so close. Oh. Ah! Oi! Okay. Oh man. She is not easy to beat. Ah! Just gotta keep exercising her. Oi! God damn, how many times is it gonna take? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what? Oh, thank God it starts from here. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Do I just gotta keep avoiding her now? I'm really trying here, guys. I'm really trying. This is not easy. Oh, God. It doesn't help that it's a one-hit fucking kill from her. There we go. Jeez Louise. It took me long enough. Oh god. What just happened? Can I leave? Can I go? Screw this place, man. Screw the church. I'm done. I'm done being a priest. I'm done dealing with all this nonsense. I'm getting out of here. Demons. Possessed girls. Deer. Kill her. Oh. <laughs> A dog with one bullet. <laughs> How do I kill her then? Where is she though? The only thing I can think of is that maybe she went somewhere here in the woods? This area looks a bit different. Seems like everything's playing backwards now, too. Oh, there she is. Okay, here we go. Alright, there you go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whatever. I'm out of here. Goodbye. I've had about enough. I'm tired. I'm cold. I'm covered in sweat and blood. And I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep for the next 48 hours, but I'm done. I finally did it, and I'm done. I'm getting out of here, going to my car, getting in, driving away, and that's that. Oh, and I'm also going to completely denounce my religion and stop being a priest. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Stop being a priest. Because all this bullshit that I just went through, not into it. Not into it anymore, and I don't want to be part of it. So here I go. Goodbye. One of five? There's five endings to this? Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after 
Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Oh my God, dude. Oh, is it going to let me just get all the different endings one after the other? So it's... Is that what's happening? Oh, well, there it goes. I guess that was... You know what? Maybe if I try approaching her. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a long video. Maybe if I try approaching her, that might do something different. If I don't just kill her willy nilly. Well, every time I try walking into her, it just douches me back. So I'm I'm gone. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'll see you later. I don't really know what other possible endings there are and how I can achieve them. I mean, clearly this is gonna be one of them because. It's not really much. Maybe I can destroy this tree. Yeah, maybe I can kill a deer. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I get in the car and leave. Ha! Ah! Okay, well, oh, okay. So what I'll do is I'll get the gun. I'm gonna get the gun, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go directly down to my car. And when that thing comes to attack me, I'm gonna shoot it. Looks like I have a giant cigarette. Here I go. <laughs> oh my god. That was brutal. Alright, there's one ending. I will save of the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My cock in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. Over the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Okay. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Hmm. Ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. Okay. Police animal experts investigate... Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the, the remains of an unident unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains told them they appeared to be one of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay, well that was ending 5 of 5, and this video is now extended to an hour long, so I'm gonna maybe try and destroy that tree next other than that i don't really know what to do i don't know what else could be done here and i kind of you know i've spent all this time playing the game i kind of would like to get all the endings in one video what about down here no nope. what is that maybe okay i think that might have led me to another ending Okay, so I gotta remember that the tree is underneath that thing. I wonder if I'm gonna die if that guy is gonna come attack me again. I hope not. In the car I go. 
Okay. Uh-oh. What is this? Well, I'm kind of screwed now, aren't I? The Offering. Okay. So I only need two more endings. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you're able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary. What does that mean? Alright, my next move... My next move is the tree. Okay, I guess not. I guess my next move is in the tree. I guess my next move is to die. So I gotta go all the way down here now. Oh my God, that is so frustrating. You know, maybe I can use this time to try and find an easy path to the tree that I can always remember. So the well is two down. Let's go down one more and to the left. We're gonna go down two from the well and then to the left. Yeah. Down two from from the well and then to the left. All right, well, I'm gonna have to redo, so I'm just gonna go to my car and get killed by the guy. All right, we're here at the well, so I believe I go down two and then to the left. All right, I don't know if this is gonna do anything for the tree, but whatever, here we go. Nope, okay. Crap, I don't understand then. I don't get what I'm supposed to do next. All right, well, I don't really know what to do, so I think I should just go exploring a little bit. And maybe I'll find uh, something. You know, I don't really think I've been to the left of this area. So let's try going over here. See if maybe there's something worthwhile. Oh. Hey there. All right. I mean, that's probably another ending. I don't know who that was. Kind of seems a bit strange to just shoot a random person in the middle of the woods, but I guess so. Not very priestly of me. You know what? I just want to get to my car. I just want to get out of here. After this, I only have one more ending to find, so let's just see what I can do. I will send up the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will not. Got this one. I shall not be afraid. Oh. oh, father and son, esteemed Cardinal Gifford. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no so that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. He must have been all disfigured and stuff. Okay. So I only have one more, which means I with one bullet. I definitely have to just find something. Something else. So I'm gonna try to do that, I guess. Alright, I've been wandering around a little bit. I don't really know. Oh, okay, this must be it. Hiya! <laughs> oh man, that's pretty pretty gruesome. Alright, I'm blessing you, dear. Alright, that has to be it. That has to be the last ending. Just wanna get to my car, get in, get out of this place. Boom. Here we go. Nice. There we go. I will send up the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. 
My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Okay, I did it. My God, that was a wild ride. That took me an hour and 15 minutes to beat. What happens if I do this? Oh, wait, let me read this. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesperson for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having, become, after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators sus suspect that this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appeared the victim of the accident was only able to carry back 25 pounds to the car. Hmm. All right, that's it. I don't need to do anything else. I already got all five endings. And I gotta say, this was really, really good. I know it may not look like much because the graphics and like the actual gameplay isn't modern but this game did a really good job of telling a story that is genuinely disturbing and it honestly seems like there's only one truly good ending out of all five the other four are like disturbing but yeah this was phenomenal i really liked this and if you guys want to try it out for yourselves i'll leave the link down below in the description for you but for now that's all the time i have left for this video thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button down below if you did and please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the video down below as well and if you happen to enjoy and you want to catch a new video up to five days a week go ahead and smack that subscribe button down below for me also thanks again for watching everyone and i can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.